symptoms are quite familiar. And very likely you'll come up with a correct diagnosis. Yes, it looks like a cold, a common cold. Runny nose, headache, achiness, very often a slight fever. Those are some of the symptoms of the common cold. Well, how do we get into that unhappy state? Do we have colds simply because of cold? Venous blood is forced into the lungs by the action of the pump. The dark venous blood passes through this tube. In the lungs, it takes up oxygen and becomes arterial blood. Our body is just like a little country that has been invaded by an enemy army. But the enemy in this case is not big soldiers. This invading army is so tiny that it can be seen only through a microscope. Scientists think that most colds are caused by extremely small microorganisms called viruses. Viruses, and there are many different kinds of them, can be scattered with each particle of saliva and mucus. What enabled Soviet scientists to solve this problem? Long ago, science established the fact that animal organs and tissues isolated from the whole organism can be maintained in a living state. A communicable disease is one which can be caught from someone else. This means that the germs have to leave the body of a sick person and enter the body of one who is well. Frequently, the inflammation also travels down the respiratory tract to the pharynx, the larynx, and the trachea. Your throat feels sore and your voice is husky. It travels to the bronchi. You have a bad cough. And occasionally, even to the lungs. And that is pneumonia. These are painful complications, and they often take a long time to clear up. Bellows distend the lungs and fill them with air. As individuals and as a community, we can do many things to halt this movement of germs and prevent the spread of disease. And for this purpose, blood is introduced into the cardiac vessels. If you have a cold, don't stay in school. Because if you do, you may send others home with your cold. If you have a cold, stay home, stay in bed. We can do much to prevent the spread of disease by keeping away from those who are sick. And plenty of rest, at least eight hours of sleep every night. Every step we take to prevent the spread of disease means increased happiness and greater living efficiency for all of us.